you want to get outside and check out that sunrise, you don't need the long sleeves this morning. And you might want to grab the sunglasses because not a lot of cloud coverage. Temperatures in the 70s outside. If you have a little bit of a breeze, it's coming out of the north, northeast, east, and you're probably out by the coast. Things are feeling warm though. And today, another one of those days where we're in the mid 90s, but it's going to be feeling like it's 100 plus degrees. And those shower chances, they're going to be popping up and they're going to be popping up a little bit more frequently as we head into the weekend. It's going to stay hot and humid outside though. We are officially in the dog days of summer. High pressure is taking over. It is going to be dominating our forecast as we head into the weekend, but those spotty shower chances, like I mentioned, they're going to be increasing as we head into the weekend. Look at future cast this afternoon, one o'clock, two o'clock showers popping up across the area. Some of those downpours could be heavy. If you've been outside in the middle of one, you know what I'm talking about. Some real soakers out there. Well, the winds could be a little breezy with them as well. And those winds, even though it's calm right now, they'll pick up this afternoon. The shower chances, like I said, increasing as we head into the upcoming weekend. Today it's a 20%, tomorrow 30%. Unfortunately, by Saturday into Sunday, looking at a 40% chance of rain. Right now, gorgeous outside as you see this shot from Hotel Tybee. Just a few clouds out across the Atlantic. Some folks starting to head out there for sunrise. And things are calm in our area, but we've already had seven named storms. Yep. Gonzalo is right now churning in the Atlantic. We've got some activity in the Gulf that potentially could be number eight. And this activity in the Gulf looking like it's going to be strengthening, like I said, and by Saturday bringing heavy rain and lots of wind to our neighbors down in Texas. And like I said, could end up being named Hannah. Now that's not the only area we're watching activity. We do see some off in the Atlantic as well. Now this looking like it's going to be tracking just to the um, around the windward isles right there in the lesser Antilles and moving up toward the Gulf, but not quite making it there. Looking like it will be strengthening to our first hurricane, but only getting to a category one before it does get downgraded again. Now here it's spotty showers that increase by Saturday into Sunday and get up to a 40% chance that heat will be decreasing on your phone. When you whip it out this weekend while you're out at the beach, if you're lucky enough to be out at Tybee, it'll say low 90s, upper 80s out at the islands, but still feeling like it's in the triple digits because of how much humidity we have. Now those rain chances, they do increase, like I said, but not because of any hurricane activity in our area. If you're keeping track at home, not, we normally have 12 named storms. We're up to number eight and this runs all the way through October. So head over to our website and get our WJCL hurricane essential guide because things are calm right now. Not necessarily going to be the case forever. This guide has everything you need from how to put together a family safety plan to evacuation routes. You can get it for free on our website, WJCL.com. So thank you so much. Well, time check this morning. It is just about 618. And here's a look at the coronavirus pandemic happening around the world. Major airlines are calling on the U.S. and the European Union to create a joint coronavirus testing program for transatlantic flights. They say the move would help travel between the two continents recover. Most Europeans are currently banned from traveling to the U.S. and vice versa. The Prime Minister of the UK is asking the military to be on standby for what could be a devastating winter. He says the nation could face the COVID-19 spike, the flu, winter flooding and issues with leaving the EU all at